Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, you are welcome to this press conference that is dedicated to the visit of Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, in Latvia. Please, um, the floor goes to the Prime Minister of Latvia, Krishan Skarinj. Thank you. Thank you. Justin, uh, Justin, my dear friend, uh, thank you very much for your visit here uh, to Latvia. But I have to say uh, on behalf of my country and government, thank you um, that Canada is sticking to its promises as well as uh, to um, its um, uh, support. Um, and already in 2016, it was uh, decided after Crimea uh, that uh, the eastern flank has to be strengthened and uh, enhanced uh, battalions should be located and created in uh, Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia. And you, Canada, uh, undertook the obligation to um, lead the battalion here in uh, Latvia. And uh, in those five years, under your leadership, a uh, coordinated, uh, capable uh, battalion have been created where uh, soldiers from uh, two, uh, from ten different countries of NATO ally countries are working. Until now, it has been a theory that we can cooperating on such scale, but under your leadership, it has been actually implemented. A year ago, we uh, in the NATO summit in Madrid together decided that um, these battalions should be strengthened uh, up to the level of a um, uh, battle uh, combat capable brigade. And right now, uh, minutes ago, our ministers of defense signed a, a roadmap how and when and that it is uh, going to be done. And we, from our side, will do um, our utmost. Uh, and we recently, uh, two weeks ago, started um, our um, uh, defense service work. Uh, the legislation has been uh, adopted. Uh, we have also uh, allocated um, means for new uh, Polygon in Celia. Uh, we are in the process of, um, uh, of um, uh, strengthening our air defense, coastal defense, and rocket artillery. Uh, we will go. Uh, we will invest money from our budget uh, in order to strengthen ourselves and to be a country which, uh, together with its NATO allies, can cooperate even better. History shows that. No country um, is uh, strong on its own, uh, as strong as together with others. Uh, we are um, only as strong as our allies, and our Latvian allies, uh, Canadian and other NATO allies are uh, the strongest alliance in the world, and together we will continue this military uh, alliance and uh, to strengthen it by ensuring Latvian, Lithuanian, uh, uh, Estonian, North Atlantic, European level peace and stability for our society uh, to develop in peace. The support that we have um, given to Ukraine will uh, go on, will continue without doubt. We will support Ukraine as long as it's uh, necessary until a uh, complete victory in this war, uh, this brutal war, war that uh, is unprecedented and unprovoked, aiming at civil infrastructure without sparing uh, civilians and children. Uh, sometimes democracies uh, try to explain themselves and, uh, and ground themselves that uh, we are uh, uh, quarreling on small scale, on small things, but when uh, 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 truly necessary, as it has uh, been proven by uh, this war, uh, when uh, things happen like that, allies stand shoulder to shoulder, strengthening uh, um, themselves as well as the alliance together. So today I would like to say thank you to Canada for uh, what you have done so far uh, by um, leading Enhanced Forward Presence Battle Group here in Latvia, as well as 
uh, the clear vision and um, uh, confirmation uh, of today how uh, this battalion is going to be transformed into a brigade under leadership of Canada. Thank you very much. And now I give the floor to the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, please. Bonjour tout le monde. I am honored to be here in Lafayette, Camp Patatsi, uh, with my friend, uh, Prime Minister Karinch. I'm especially grateful to be able to visit with the women and men of the Canadian Armed Forces who are doing extraordinary work leading this battle group. I arrived in Latvia this morning and met first with President Rinkevich and then uh, with Christianis, the Prime Minister. Thank you so much for welcoming us today, my friend, and for being such incredible hosts of the Canadian Armed Forces members here. Lors de nos rencontres, on a discuté du resserrement des liens entre nos pays, y compris the uh, du mm, we relations are talking about um, um, commercial relations, how to uh, cooperate better. The ties between our countries have been always very strong, and they are even more important today uh, than uh, uh, before. Historical ties. Canada was the first G7 nation to ratify Latvia's accession to NATO, and 32 years ago, we were the first G7 member to recognize the restoration of Latvia's independence. The sovereignty of nations, their territorial integrity, the rights of people to choose their own future is at the heart of why our two countries have come together today. In my meetings with both the President and the Prime Minister, our top priorities were support for Ukraine and action we need to continue to take to deter Russia's ongoing and unacceptable aggression. When Russia first invaded Ukraine in 2014, NATO allies mobilized and formed Operation Reassurance to establish a strong military presence in Eastern Europe. Canada stepped up to lead a battle group here in Latvia on NATO's eastern flank beginning in 2017. To date, hundreds of Canadian Armed Forces members have trained and served alongside soldiers from across the alliance. Today, I am announcing that we are going to more than double our presence, deploying up to an additional 1,200 members of the Canadian Armed Forces to serve and defend democracy and the rule of law. These additional personnel will reinforce and enhance our land, maritime, and air capabilities and support special operations in Central and Eastern Europe. This is part of a $2.6 billion investment we are announcing today, which also includes the purchase of critical weapons systems and support for intelligence and cyber activities. Le renouvellement et l'élargissement de l'opération Réassurance permettront au Canada de contribuer de manière concrète uh, for the strengthening, uh, the strengthening of, of our presence will allow us to uh, step uh, concrete uh, actions uh, for our common defense uh, in the future uh, based on uh, our Madrid uh, summit assumptions, our um, presence in Latvia will be strengthened and it will be become a brigade against the Kremlin's aggression. Canada has helped lead the charge in putting in place one of the toughest, toughest sanctions regimes ever. We've provided billions of dollars in military, humanitarian, and financial support to Ukrainians in their heroic defense against Russian invaders. Canada and all countries must be clear that Russia's unprovoked war on an independent country, on a free and democratic Ukraine, is a threat to freedom, international law, human rights, and the whole set of shared democratic values that generations of soldiers have fought to defend. I look forward to meeting with CAF members on the base here and thank them for their sacrifice and their service. This is Canada's largest overseas mission, and we are here because European security is important to Canadian security. As soldiers in Operation Reassurance, you have an important role to play in defending and deterring the very serious threats to peace and stability that we're seeing today. And you do it thousands of miles from home, 
away from your family and loved ones. So thank you. J'ai été frappé par le courage et la solidarité des membres de ce groupement tactique que vous dirigez ici en Lettonie. Les Canadiens sont um, fiers de ce I was uh, very impressed by your courage, uh, your uh, endeavor, men and women representing l'Islande. One third of uh, NATO countries, Albania, uh, Czech Republic, uh, Spain, Slovakia, Slovenia, uh, Italy, and others, you are all here. And now when uh, Finland has become a NATO uh, country, as well as Sweden is soon to follow, we hope that uh, this tactic group will be joined by um, our new um, allies. And this is a testament to the incredible support of all these nations and Canada's belief in strength through multilateralism. As Christianis pointed out, this is the way forward in modern defense. Almost a dozen countries from across NATO are cooperating, training, and working alongside each other and learning valuable lessons from each other that make our collective defense stronger. One thing we always say in Canada is that Diversity is a source of strength. Well, this battle group here in Camp Adachi is proof of that, and the work we're doing together is incredibly valuable to NATO's future. To all the troops, I want to say your service together in this mission is a great symbol for all to see that democratic nations are as strong and united as ever. NATO unity is more important than it ever has been, as we're faced with a foe that still believes that might should make right and that wants to destroy everything that we've built. Well, as allies, we draw, from our strength, we draw our strength from our belief in peace, stability, and the rights of people to be free to choose their own future. And I know that this is what we will focus on at the NATO Leaders Summit this week. These beliefs are what we stand for and what the troops here at Camp Padachi, tirelessly defend. Les Canadiens et nos alliés et partenaires sont incroyablement reconnaissants pour tout ce que vous faites. Thank you for your service. Uh, Thank you all for being here today. Canadians and um, our partners, we are very thankful for what you are doing. Now we have time for uh, some media questions. Please uh, uh, introduce yourself as well as uh, indicate uh, whom you are addressing your question. Please, the floor is yours. Uh, Vita Anste from the Television of Latvia. Uh, the question goes to Mr. Trudeau. Uh, thank you very much for uh, 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 touching uh, upon um, um, uh, NATO summit uh, in Vilnius. I wanted to ask uh, you, uh, do you have specific expectations uh, as a result of this summit? Uh, if I uh, may, also, Mr. Karins, what we are expecting from this summit, please. Thank you very much. I think this upcoming NATO summit in the next two days uh, next door in Lithuania is going to be incredibly important. Uh, there is a few things uh, that we will be demonstrating and showing. First of all, uh, demonstrating to Putin and to authoritarian leaders around the world uh, that NATO stands strong and united in its defense of our values, of uh, the principles uh, that lead to people being able to choose their own futures. Uh, we will continue to show our solidarity with Ukraine and demonstrate by continuing being there, including with multi-year commitments that demonstrate uh, that uh, NATO countries and countries around the world continue to stand against Russia's continued illegal invasion and its war crimes. We will also uh, hopefully uh, be able to welcome Sweden uh, into the NATO fold. Uh, there's been a lot of work going on and Canada has been uh, very active behind the scenes in pulling uh, pulling this together as, alongside others, uh, and we are uh, hopeful that we're going to be able to get there. There's still work to be done, so it's not done yet, but uh, that is one of the things we want to see. And finally, this uh, NATO summit will be a demonstration and a reinforcement of the fact that the world is changing, uh, that investing in collective security is more important than ever before. Canada has 
continue to invest significantly uh, and increasingly in military defense, including uh, in purchasing 88 F-35 fighter jets, uh, in strengthening NORAD modernization, and uh, delivering support to Ukraine over the past year uh, in the billions of dollars. But we also know there are uh, more that we need to do on the military side, on cybersecurity, on climate security, on innovation uh, that Canada is also very much stepping up with. So this may be some of the same opportunity for all of us together to demonstrate our solidarity and our conviction, continuing to step up and stand together as the path to our more peace and unity. Yes, I am sorry. I was just a little late. Uh, Thank you I, very yeah, much for your question. I can agree province, to Justin, uh, um, uh, just reiterating uh, what he um, uh, said. Summit, uh, I want to reiterate that this in, the, in this NATO summit, summit we will uh, show not only to us and to our uh, societies uh, and our uh, allies that NATO uh, uh, is and uh, will uh, uh, be present and will enhance its presence in the Eastern Bloc. But it will be a strong signal to Russia Ilgāk šis karš demonstrating uh, that Ukraina, the longer the war uh, will go on in Ukraine, the stronger NATO, uh, and uh, more united uh, NATO, NATO will become. Our interests and our presence will not diminish. Uh, on the contrary, step by step, uh, we will enlarge and enhance our um, impetus into our own security as well as uh, in uh, Ukraine's uh, uh, security and support. Speaking about specific uh, decisions, uh, we believe that we will adopt specific uh, NATO battle plans uh, subject to all Eastern flank and bloc. That uh, is a very, very important step. The generals and military personnel understand better than everyone. We have worked um, a long time um, on those plans. I hope we will be able to agree on that. But today's um, uh, agreement that has been signed uh, between Latvia and Canada is an addition to what has happened already in Madrid. And this is a stop, step forward or a continuation or a part of uh, what is going to happen in Vilnius concerning Latvia and the direct um, safety of Latvia, increasing the safety. Also, we hope that until um, summit all the partners uh, will agree and uh, already congratulate the 32nd uh, member state, Sweden, um, as a full-fledged member. Also, our uh, investments uh, in uh, defense uh, will increase. Our goal was until 27 um, to allocate 3% of uh, GDP to defense. Uh, we believe that that we will reach this figure um, until next year already, uh, not until 27. So we will continue this work. But returning back to uh, Ukraine, uh, it is very, very important, vitally important that the uh, whole of NATO, without and beyond doubt, uh, will support uh, Ukraine uh, economically, military, uh, hu in, uh, with humanitarian aid, as long as it's necessary. Necessary um, uh, until a complete victory. There are ongoing discussions amongst partner countries uh, which uh, way to choose how more specifically uh, we uh, will work our support for Ukraine. But some years ago, already NATO has clearly said that the future of Ukraine uh, is a member state of NATO. And I believe that uh, peace in our uh, region will be ensured not, on, uh, not when the war uh, will end, but when Ukraine will become a fully-fledged member of NATO. I am very sure that it will happen. It will ensure peace not only in Ukraine, but also in Baltic countries. So with very uh, positive um, energy and expectations, me and Mr. Trudeau, uh, discussed 
summit uh, Vilnius, upcoming Kasaka summit Sredi, in uh, Vilnius that will start tomorrow and I am very happy that um, our uh, uh, ally, uh, our uh, uh, friend uh, Canada, we have had uh, a very, very uh, short dispute or disagreement with them on the hockey field. That was the only place and time. And uh, uh, if this is uh, the only place and time when uh, we uh, are uh, not standing with each other but against each other, then I would uh, like to say that our uh, friendship is indeed very strong. CBC News. It's been a year since the commitment was made to increase to a brigade in Latvia and throughout the Baltics. Uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, as you mentioned, the Canadian-led brigade is a diverse collection of nations. Do you have firm commitments from the other allies that are part of this multinational uh, brigade? And in other words, do you have a firm plan? And will it be enough to assuage the concerns of NATO allies that have been getting a little anxious about what's happening here. We were pleased to uh, just watch the signing of uh, the roadmap forward uh, for uh, the yeah, enhanced forward presence here in Latvia between uh, our two excellent defense ministers. Uh, Canada is double, uh, up to doubling uh, its presence in troops here, and we know uh, that our partners and allies across Europe uh, will be uh, increasing their presence as well. Uh, there's, uh, as always, when you're talking about such a uh, large number of diverse nations, uh, challenges, uh, but there are challenges that end up uh, benefiting uh, the work that we're doing, being uh, different countries coming from different perspectives, but demonstrating our capacity not just to work alongside each other, but to actually work together, as is uh, done here in Latvia, uh, is creating many, many opportunities for NATO itself to learn lessons about uh, what uh, would we'd be able to do in, uh, uh, in future situations. Canada will continue uh, to be uh, a strong voice for uh, multilateralism, even within uh, NATO, even as we uh, step up on this enhanced forward presence. Uh, ce qu'on a vu aujourd'hui, euh, c'est la signature par nos euh, ministres de la Défense. Euh, de, uh, today de la we already saw how uh, our uh, defense uh, ministers uh, signed the uh, roadmap for the development for this tactical group to become a brigade. It shows, it demonstrates uh, that NATO uh, has um, actually um, <coughs> decided to strengthen its uh, capacity on the eastern border of NATO, and it also demonstrates that we are capable to create strength uh, in diversity. Uh, there are very many NATO countries represented here, but together we develop our capacity. We work side by side for common goal. For TV3 News here in Latvia, my question is for Mr. Trudeau. Uh, with the one eye on the upcoming NATO summit, Ukraine is expecting to see a strong roadmap for its ascension into the alliance. Do you believe such an agreement can be reached in Vilnius? When I was in uh, Kyiv uh, a few weeks ago speaking with uh, Vladimir Zelensky, I, I highlighted uh, Canada's strong position. Uh, that we feel very strongly uh, that Ukraine uh, should be joining NATO as soon as conditions allow. I know that is a perspective shared uh, by Christianis and our, our friends here in the Baltics. Um, it is not. It is not as uh, unanimous uh, across uh, NATO to be exactly that strong, but I know there is a deep commitment. Uh, to Ukraine, to Ukraine's security and to Ukraine's future, uh, shared by all members of NATO. And the conversations on exactly how we're going to articulate that um, are continuing right now. Uh, but I'm very optimistic that uh, the message that we will send, uh, not just to the Ukrainian government, not just to the Ukrainian people, but also uh, to Russia uh, about uh, how strong and solidaire we all are, uh, is going to be an important one. Lūdzu vārdus pēdējiem jautājumam. 
dernière date. Juste avant euh, ma question, M. Trudeau, pourriez-vous répéter cette réponse en français, s'il vous plaît? Il y a quelques semaines, uh, quand j'étais actif, j'ai répondu à la question en français. Yes, uh, some uh, weeks ago, uh, when I talked to uh, President Zelensky, and I reiterated Canada's uh, endeavor that uh, we want uh, Ukraine to join NATO when uh, uh, circumstances allow. This is our opinion, our strong position, and here we are. Uh, Uh, in agreement un peu plus with loin que our Baltic colleagues alliés, in other NATO member uh, countries, this enthusiasm is not as strong as et, in Canada. Et, et, But in general, uh, all our allies are um, uh, very inclined uh, uh, for, the better, une, uh, for the better, for the future of Ukraine. Our uh, discussions uh, are uh, ongoing, uh, and I believe uh, that uh, tomorrow. Uh, We will uh, have very good news to announce uh, from Vilnius. And I would like to reiterate that we as allies are, uh, stand for Ukraine and for its future. Right. Yep, that's on. Okay. Now, continue the Canada on the arms and munitions. Oh, continuing uh, on uh, 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 ammunition uh, of uh, Canada, on, um, uh, I have a question. Um, during this summit, do you think that there will be pressure on President Biden or from uh, President Biden uh, on uh, Mr. Zelensky for them uh, not to use the ammunition provided? Uh, Canada speaking was one of the about uh, this ammunition, on the we are of uh, the ones uh, around uh, the world who uh, uh, will continue to stand very strongly uh, uh, are against uh, uh, this type of ammunition, and uh, we can uh, we stand to uh, our position. But now oh, there is shortage of um, ammunition. Uh, why are you talking about it? When I was in Ukraine a few weeks ago. Uh, on When um, some weeks ago I was in uh, Ukraine, uh, uh, we announced en, uh, en Ukraine. that uh, we will tous les have um, uh, 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 ammunition to uh, provided to Ukraine worth uh, uh, millions uh, of uh, uh, dollars, and all allies uh, are looking uh, forward to find additional means ago, how to do that. Uh, we talked about the tens of thousands of rounds of uh, ammunition that we were continuing to send uh, to Ukraine. We recognize the need. Uh, for more munitions uh, in Ukraine and holding strong and uh, even pushing back against this illegal Russian invasion. And I can tell you that all allies are working very, very hard to deliver more munitions to uh, Ukraine. The press conference, Latvijas ministrs, presidents un 